spray them really well and make sure that you don't get any in your eyes hi guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are all good so today I'm going to be showing you how I disinfect my makeup and how you can disinfect your own makeup with that being said let's get started I like disinfecting my own makeup yes it's my own makeup nobody else wears it but I like doing that because a lot of germs accumulate there and they can be really bad and they can even give me a lot of stuff like a lot of acne and I don't want that so by doing this I ensure that my makeup is clean and that it's going to be applied on my face clean a lot of makeup artists who do runways to photo shoots to events as weddings quinceañeras um, birthday parties whatever you get them for they use the same palette on everyone they're not gonna buy the same palette 20 times to do it for 20 different people they use the same one so I'm going to show you a way that they disinfect their own makeup in order to use it on another person especially like I said in runways that they have to do the makeup for a hundred people they have to disinfect their makeup after they're done with every person and that ensures for safety reasons of course for the people that are getting their makeup that they won't get any infections and also for the makeup artists themselves I'm going to show you how I disinfect my eyeshadows you need an eyeshadow palette alcohol a spray bottle a tissue or napkin, it can also be cloth, a lid, in this case an old makeup lid. You can also use a lid from containers as long as it is flat like this. What I like doing is that I like to get the spritz bottles and I like to get my alcohol. I like to pour my alcohol into the spritz bottles and then tighten it and I like to label it. This is a new bottle, that's why it's not labeled. After you have the alcohol inside your spritz bottle, you're going to get your eyeshadow palette and what you're gonna do is that you're gonna just spray it and then once you have it like this you're gonna set it to the side and let it air dry let it completely air dry do not close the eyeshadow palette do not do anything else apart from leaving it open let it air dry as long as it needs now you're gonna get your cloth towel or you're gonna get your Kleenex or your paper towel. You're gonna get the flat surface container. You're gonna put it on the Kleenex. I like to get my Kleenex and fold it in half and then I like folding it in half again. I also like wetting it. It could be with water or alcohol. In this case, I prefer alcohol. Then you're gonna get your top. You're gonna put it right on top, just like that. Then fold the edges in. So you can have something like this. Now you're going to get your eyeshadow palette and all you are going to do is place it on the top and just do that. It's like a hockey puck. You're just going all over. This ensures that the eyeshadows do not get damaged and it ensures that you are cleaning the excess of the eyeshadows that are on the edges. Ugh, look at that. Right here. Again, if you used it wet, let it air dry a little bit more until it's completely dry. This method would also work when you find makeup that is on clearance or on sale that people have swatched in your store and they're all dirty or nasty. On the outside, you can use a Clorox wipe or a sanitizing wipe. On the inside, make sure you use alcohol or alcohol wipes, alcohol, something that has alcohol but is also safe for you. Makeup brushes are another thing that you need to sanitize. If you don't have time to fully clean them or if you have a lot of people that you're going to do their makeup, you don't have time to go to the restroom and clean them thoroughly every single time. What you can do is get your dirty makeup brushes, get that same bottle that has alcohol, and just spritz them. Spray them really well and make sure that you don't get any in your eyes. You have to be very careful. It's that simple and inexpensive and way easy for you to disinfect your own makeup and your makeup brushes. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It helps me bring you guys more videos like these. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Until next time, bye guys.